The gallery is currently closed to the public, but to continue allowing our community to enjoy our programs, we asked our education team to create online ArtSmart lessons. ArtSmart is an after-school art program that the gallery runs each term. It is an introductory course for primary school children who want to improve their artistic skills through a range of fun and stimulating exercises. All lessons are taught by Dushan Mirva Montoya. For Term 2, we have decided to bring this to you all online and free of charge. We hope you enjoy making art at home. Our first lesson will look at the art of famous American artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Due to copyright permission, we cannot show you photographic images of his artworks. However, we suggest that you go online to find examples. A great activity to do is to go to the National Gallery of Victoria's website and view their current virtual tour of their exhibition by Keith Haring and Jean-Michel Basquiat crossing lines. Here you can see how Basquiat incorporates graffiti-like images and scrawled text in his works. Now we will list the materials you will need for our lesson. Art Smart. I'm Dushan and today we're going to be learning about a famous American artist named Jean-Michel Basquiat. For educational purposes this is the image we'll be referring to. Uh, the project is going to be uh, completed in two steps. The first step is creating the, the skull and, and, and filling that skull with as much uh, visual information as we can. The second part of the project, we will be painting and learning how to blend colours together. So let's go back to the first part. For this uh, section, you're going to need uh, a, a marker to draw a skull. Now, um, the way Basquiat draws a skull is, it's almost like a, a square. Soften the edges to make it look more like the head of a person. So just put a little mark halfway along that line and then halfway along the bottom line and then just connect those two points like that. So to draw an eye, I'll just get a pencil because sometimes um, it's easier to, when you're starting off, just to draw things with a pencil. If you make a mistake, you can rub them out. Now, to do, draw the eyeball, you could use a 20 cent coin or um, a bottle top or a glue lid if you want to draw it perfectly like that. You can just simply go over it in your mark. The next step will be to draw the nose. You can just draw part of a triangle like that. Now the last step will be to draw a mouth. Add some teeth. <laughs> so we're talking about um, making a comment through our picture and giving our character um, a voice. Draw some shapes. So you've just come up with your own designs. I'm going to add some eyelashes to this character and maybe some freckles. So I'm going to the candle wax protects our picture from the ink, which we're going to be pouring all over our work shortly. Okay, so that's done. Now you can do this next stage outside in the garden if you have space. Drip your ink 
on your work. If you want to work flat and you don't have outdoor space, then you can just put a few drops of ink on your work like I've done and you can just roll, run, let the ink run across the page. You can use a straw to blow the ink across your page or you can use um, a brush and just paint over certain sections. So we'll leave that to dry. And so I'd like you to get your uh, next A3 piece of paper and we're going to have a go at, uh, at blending colours. I get the orange and just start spreading that around your page. Be really free and loose. And when you get to the blue, then you're going to need to start blending. We're going to blend the orange into the white now. And the more you blend, the more the colour gets sort of light and loses its intensity. So just be careful not to overdo it. Okay. <laughs> So once you're finished your abstract background and then uh, we'll leave your, both your works to dry before um, completing this project. When your work is dry, is get a pair of scissors and cut out your uh, skull. Okay, so once you've decided, get to your stick glue. Just going to outline the head, make it stand out a little bit more, and then I'm going to add some hair. Now, if you haven't had enough and you just like to keep on going, you and you have some oil pastels, if you have a dark area that you want to lighten with a few lines, you can. Or you might want to draw something over the top. Please take a photo of your finished Basque artwork. We'd love to see them. And send it to our education officer, Julie Danilov. Her email is jdanilov at wollongong.nsw.gov.au. We will use these in our slideshow for next week's program.